Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwame Yasser Allah, Kohol Yimla, Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Baha Shem Rekahakodash, double honors to our apostles and elders, great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability. Shach Nan Nawaf is coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, um, the apostles have been going off into these um, back to the basic um, lessons. And I wanted to touch on birthdays, which is, you know, us Hebrew Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. We're not supposed to be celebrating um, these types of events or festivals or, you know, kind of placing yourself on, a, on this pedestal of everybody worshiping you for the day that you were born. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And when you really go into it, too, you know, our... Uh, history it it, it kind of counted the, the 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 months of you actually being in your mother so to speak because you know um the scriptures talks about between nine to ten months you know what i'm saying so that's almost a year in itself but in the americas and a lot of these other places that celebrate birthdays they just celebrated the day that you come out of your mom you know what i'm saying so to speak but it's all um you know um a vain custom it's not something that we've done in the ancient days you know and you know you got some of these Christians that be talking about, well, what about Christ's birthday and all this bullshit? Look, Yahweh Shai, that's the true name of our, our Lord and Savior. Not no damn Jesus, because there was no letter J when he walked the earth. Letter J was invented 500 years ago in 1524 by a guy named Tresino. And the letter J was actually the letter I. It was being used as the letter I before. You know, you can Google it, go into it, it's right there. Simple Google search. When was the letter J invented? You'll see that it was invented 500 years ago. So the Lord walked to earth 2,000 years ago. They wasn't calling on no damn Jesus. They was calling him by his Hebrew name that was given to him, Yahawashai, which means he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. And also the true name of the father is Yahweh, which means that he exists with the existing one. So they use this December 25th shit, which is idol worship, you can go into the history of that. There's plenty of YouTube videos on it. Even from a secular um, um, standpoint, they'll tell you that that's not the time of the year that the Lord was born. That's not his birth date. He was born around this time during the Passover, which just passed this week right here. Right. He was born during this, you know, the spring, the budding of, of new growth coming into the earth. You know, this is the new year for the Israelites, so to speak. Not no January 1st and all these different um uh, Gregorian calendar hookups that Esau Edom, the so-called white man, has pushed forth out here. But this is definitely not something that we celebrate. It's so much shit that happens on these birthdays, man. A lot of people, the same, see, this little girl right here, I'm going to get into this, this article real quick. But this little girl, guess what her gravesite is going to say? She died on the same day that she was born. And there's plenty of people like that. If you walk through a graveyard, you'll see, but damn, they died on the very same day they were born? You know, and it's all because of these vain ass holidays and these vain, um, you know, these vain traditions that people keep. Now, this is over in India, though. It says birthday celebration turns into tragedy as 10 year old girl dies after eating chocolate cake, chocolate cake in Indians Punjab, if I'm pronouncing that right. So basically, you know, just a, a cliff note. I'm not going to go all through the story. But what happened was they ordered a cake online. You know, by, um, you know, they, they have what they, you know, like over here we have Uber Eats and things of that nature. But they ordered it online and I forgot what the name of their company is in that particular country. Zomoto, Zomato or some shit like that. But basically that company's um, GPS, so to speak, or not GPS, but um, their company name keep it jumps around. So it's almost like, what do they call it? They call it an... Um, uh, a fly-by-night cloud kitchen Such kitchens operate with minimal infrastructure Often in small setups To fulfill online delivery orders efficiently They package food from a central location Offering flexibility And this place, yeah, it's called Z Zomato A food delivery app in India, right? But anyway, the point of it is Is, you know, they ordered the cake The little girl, you know what I'm saying She got very very thirsty 
you know, she wasn't feeling well, you know, she went to sleep, of course she woke up, she wasn't feeling, she definitely was feeling far, far worse, they took her to the hospital, where of course she died, and the other family members got sick as well, because they was vomiting, and all this other stuff, so, you know, here you go, they just looking at it like, oh, just a basic celebration, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna celebrate her 10 year old, you know, her 10th, her 10th birthday, but let me get the scripture, let me get this real quick, and also, I was looking in, because the word birthday is only in the scriptures like three times. Now, that you know, they go off into, you know, the situation with Job and his sons, his eldest son. You know, they was basically feasting at the house when, you know, all his sons and daughters died. You know, some people would say that that was, you know, they, you know, that they were celebrating the oldest son's birthday. It doesn't actually say that, you know what I'm saying? But some people are kind of say that. So that's another instance in the scriptures where some people will say, OK, they, they were celebrating the eldest son's birthday, so to speak. But the word birthday is only in the scriptures three times. But I want to get this real fast and I'll get those um, birthday. Uh, the, the times that those birthdays uh, was mentioned those three times and those three times it was nothing but death. OK, so. Um, I wanted to get uh, uh, Jeremiah. Chapter 10, I'm going to start from the top, verse 1, and this is strictly for Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It says, Hear ye the word which Yahweh speaketh unto, unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen, see? And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathens are dismayed at them. That's why all these people are about to travel from all over the world to try and see this eclipse. We're not to be, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, the Shabbat uh, 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 drops on that day. And, and it's, it, you know, the Lord has been doing a real thing, man, in the earth, man, because every single one of these holidays thus far, so to speak, that I can think of, I might be off on one or two of them, but all of them have been, have been landing on the Sabbath day where we're at home studying, learning, resting. All these, 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 these Edomite, um, um, these, these Babylonian holidays, man, literally have been falling every single time on the Shabbat, man. That's like yesterday was Easter, so to speak, for these these Babylonians. We, hey, that was the Shabbat for us. We was, you know, I was at the crib doing lessons, you know, studying, reading, listening to um, elders and, and the apostles and all the brothers doing lessons. Looking at the news, you know, going off into the scriptures, man. That's what we, we, we've been doing pretty much overall. All these holidays for the past year, two years, they've been landing on, on, on the Shabbat. Right. So we, we're not out here with this vain shit, man. Verse three, it says, for the customs of the people are vain. That's a vain holiday. And then, you know, people get mad as hell at you, man, when you don't get them a certain gift. They looking at you like you crazy. I've seen videos where, you know, a person, you know, uh, especially with these younger, uh, uh, gen, you know, whatever the hell they are, Gen Zers or whatever. But they'll get a brand new car for their birthday. And then they'll look at the car and be like, that's not what I wanted. And be, I don't want that. And, you know, just like, God damn, all right. Shit, mom, we're going to give you a brand new car. You just, that's not what I asked for. That's not what I wanted. And I've seen all kinds of it. So people are um, very unthankful. And that's going off into um, the scripture where it talks about perilous times. In the end days, there will be perilous times where um, one of the things that will be happening is that people will be unthankful. You know? Very unthankful, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't imagine. Shit, I... Psh, okay, ain't never, <laughs> a new car? Psh, man, hey, I'm... Th thank you. I don't care which car it is. It can be a damn small ass... Uh, I don't care what what car it is. God damn it. I don't, I don't give a shit. As long as I can fit in it. <laughs> it, it. It turns on the first turn. You know, it starts up on the first turn and got everything working fine. A brand new, fresh car smell. No miles on it. Are you serious? But anyway, you know, but people are very um, unthankful when it comes to certain stuff like that. It's, it's people that break up relationships over birthdays. It's people that, you know, fall out, have been friends for 20, 30 years, you know. And you've been seeing, I've been seeing a lot of these videos where Jake go out to these restaurants, run up a tab to five, six thousand dollars on food and shit. You know, a 12 party dinner, so to speak. And, and all you got to do is do that shit at the house. You can do it at the house for cheaper. I don't get it. You can go and get all the drinks that you want. You know what I'm saying? You can have, uh, you can go and get all the food that you want from, from, from damn Walmart or something. Man, a couple of hundred dollars, man. You can have a feast with leftovers. Motherfuckers walking away with plates. But this right here, that was, you know, that laziness of why couldn't you bake a cake? 
Nobody in the family knows how to bake a cake. Shit, you can get all that information on YouTube now. Or you can bake a damn, you can get that on TikTok now. <laughs> like for real. But anyway, uh, I just, you know, the point that I wanted to get was the custom of the people are vain. For one cut off a tree out of the forest, the works of the hands of the work, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that that it move not. And that's going off into Christmas. The tree, the silver and gold. The Lord said that those customs are vain. And, and that's to go along with Thanksgiving, their Christmas, their Fourth of July, their whatever, wherever you are. Any of those bull, if it's not of the scriptures, that it's, it's vain, man. If it's not a solemn feast or what the Lord told us to do, it's vain, man. Anyway, but let's go off into... Let me see here. Let me. It, it was another article in here too. I mean, you can see. Hey, you know they. You know they. They. They tight about it. You know they sad as hell. Anyway, let's go. Uh, let me see. It was another one that I seen. I think I saved it. It's in my history. I went into it. Yep, this one right here. And this is you know where I, where I live here at here, not too far away. Um, and this lady's 21. Sterling Heights woman was arrested on OWI after drinking at a bar to celebrate her 21st birthday. A young woman celebrating her 21st birthday could potentially face jail time after being caught driving drunk last week, as reported. Troy police, and that's Troy. That, hey, that's that's where Edomites live for real. That's like one of the. I think it used to be the third richest county in in, in America. Could be number one. Hell by now, but it's a lot of. You know, I, I don't. I used to work out there, but I, you know, that's one of them areas you don't go to, unless you really, really have to. Not as a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American person to me. I don't go to places like that. But she was pulled over, Sterling Heights. Um, that's kind of right up the street from there. Uh, despite claiming she, she had only one drink at a nearby bar, she performed poorly on her sobriety test. A pre preliminary breast test showed. Okay, all right. So, yeah, she failed that damn test. And they don't be playing out there. They don't be playing out there. They'll give your ass the business. It says, um, yep, they got stiffer penalties now. It says, um, Michigan super drunk laws. Damn. Including up to, yeah, they got 180 days in jail. Hey, that right there will wreck you. That'll wreck your life right there. 180 days in jail, you're going to lose your job. You're going to more than likely lose that car that you was driving. <laughs> if it's a newer car, you ain't going to be able to make no payments on it because your ass is in jail and you ain't got no job. You know, all this different stuff. You know, so, you know, these birthdays, man, it's just not worth it. You know what I'm saying? In reality. But let me get these three scriptures. These are it right here that goes off into um the three birthdays. I put it in, as you can see. Matter of fact, let me put it with an S. See if anything else pops up. Nope. So let me just take off the S. So it's just birthday single. And it's in Genesis 40 and 20, Matthew 14 and 6. And I think um, this is a replica of it in Mark 6 and 21, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, but anyway, let's go off into them real quick. Uh, let's go into it real quick. Now, this is Pharaoh, right? And this is when Joseph was in jail. And he was giving these guys the, um, uh, uh, you know, um, by the spirit, he was giving them, you know, the 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 um the prophetic word, basically of the dreams that they had. I think it was the baker, it was the uh, Pharaoh's baker and his um cupbearer. I think it was from Salakia. Yep. Okay. So the, I'm gonna start at verse 16, Genesis 40 and 16. When the chief baker saw that the interpretation was good, he said unto Joseph, "I also was in." I also was in my dream and behold, I had three white baskets on my head and in the uppermost basket, there was all manner of baked, baked meats for Pharaoh and the birds did eat them out of, out of the basket upon my head. And Joseph answered and said, this is the interpretation thereof. The three baskets are three days yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thy head from off thee and shall hang thee on a tree and the birds shall eat thy flesh from off thee. Woo. And, that, and, <laughs> and it came to pass the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday, that he made a feast unto his servants. And he lifted up his head, lifted up the head of the chief butler and the chief baker among his servants. And he restored the chief butler because it was two, two, both of them had a dream. 
One of them was going to be restored and one of them was going to be put to death. It says, and he restored the chief butler unto his butlership again, and he gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand. But he hanged the chief baker, as Joseph had interpreted to them. Yet did not the chief butler remember Joseph, but forgot him. So he was supposed to, you know, let people know. He was supposed to put in a good word for Joseph. But he got back in his little spot and, and was like, fuck Joseph. You know what I'm saying? Because they was in, you know, in prison. So this is your very first birthday that's in the scriptures, right? So we're not to sell it. I'm telling you, man, every single time it's in here, there's a death straight up. So let me go back. We got um, Matthew 14 and 6. Let's see. And this is Herod, right? This is where they killed John the Baptist. And it's, um, it's entitled The Death of John the Baptist. I'm going to start from verse 1. Um, Matthew 14 and 1. At the time, Herod, the Tetrarch, heard of the fame of Yahushai and said unto his servants, This is John the Baptist. He is risen from the dead. So, see, they understood reincarnation back then. Reincarnation is scriptural. Regeneration. That, you know, that's another lesson. But, you know, when you come into this truth and you're going to have to accept the fact that uh, reincarnation is in the Bible. And you, you know, you don't want to, you don't want it to allow, you know, allow it to be a stumbling block to you. Some people get offensive, you know, uh, about these particular types of scriptures and, and, and they fall away. Okay. But it says he is risen from the dead. Therefore, mighty works do show forth themselves in him. For Herod had laid hold on John and bound him and put him in prison for Herodias sake, his brother Philip's wife. For John said unto him, it is not lawful to, for thee to have her. So here you go. You know, this is um damn uh, Edomite, basically, you know, ruling over the over the Jews, you know, and, and you can go off into the history of that. Like he, you know, I think his mother was a, 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 a Jewess or whatever. But you know what I'm saying? He was he was basically a plant over the, the Israelites, man. And, 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 you know, and he should have been, hey, you want to be a Jew? You know, you should be keeping the laws. Here you go. You with your brother's wife. And that's what John the Baptist was telling him, you know, and he got pissed with John the Baptist. Right. And she was pissed with John the Baptist as well. It says, for John said unto him, it is not lawful for thee to have her. And when he would have put him to death, he feared the multitude because they counted him as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday was kept, see his birthday, the daughter of Herodias danced before them and pleased Herod. So he checking out his, 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 his you know, his brother, I guess this is his niece. Anyway, it says, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. And she being be and she being before instructed of her mother said, give me here John the Baptist's head and a charger. So this is where John the Baptist, you know what I'm saying? All because of some damn adulterous ass chick and her wicked ass daughter. And, and it, this is how John the Baptist was beheaded. And she being before instructed of her mother said give me her give me here john the baptist head in the charger and the king was sorry nevertheless for the oath's sake because he couldn't go back on his word and them which sat with him at meat he commanded it to be given her and he sent and beheaded john the baptist john in prison so there you go there's your second birthday in the scriptures and there was death right so now let's see i think this one right here and Mark, let me see. Yup, it's the same account. It's just a, another account in Mark, right? In the book of Mark, chapter six. So really, the word birthday is in the scriptures three times, but you know, really it's two transactions, so to speak, where it's actually, you know, this is just a, a replica pretty much of what was just being uh, read in Matthew there. But um, yeah, man, hey, on birthdays, you know, back to the basics. We're not supposed to celebrate no birthdays, man. And people are very surprised when you don't, you know. When I tell people, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, you know, because I don't even be even remembering that shit. Sometimes I had to think, <laughs> you know, like nah. But some people might say, oh yeah, you know, um, your birthday. You know, my dad and my mom, they 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 stop saying it. They already know I'm not gonna even respond. I don't even tell. I'm not telling nobody happy birthday. I don't give a shit. So that my family pretty much know over the years that I'm not into any of that. I'm not into none of these vain ass holidays. So they know they just they done accepted it. They know not to invite me nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're younger and you're into this troop, you, you know, you're still under your parents roof and you may have to go to a birthday celebration or something like that where they dragging you along. But if you can get out of it, shit, just get out of it. You know, just let them know, hey, you know, I, you know, I prefer to 
you know, people are going to ask questions and stuff. But again, you know, because you'll be somewhere and, and, and motherfuckers looking at you crazy. Like, why you not singing happy birthday with us? <laughs> why don't you get a gift? You know, all this craziness, man. It's just vain. And people get I'm telling you that spirit that's on that birthday shit. People get very, very, very upset when you don't get them something or if you if you're not able to do something for them or, you know, if that day didn't go the way that they wanted it to go because people buy you know they get brand new outfits they go and get their hair and nails done they go and get haircuts you know so to speak you know um they got these special days and shit all set up you know i got my one of my neighbors um you know he you know he got a lot of sisters and stuff and you know a lot of nieces and stuff like that so you know they always hitting his ass off and you know i i, I didn't explain to him you know I, I go into the scriptures with him but i got him pretty much kind of stopped you know, um, you know, that's like it really is not getting through to him. I just spoke to him multiple times. Ma matter of fact, actually too many times, you know, I've kind of had to repent because being disobedient of the scriptures. But it's just like, you know, that word just comes out of me. You know what I'm saying? When, when we be talking, you know, but. Um, you no, know, hey, man, you got to get out of this stuff, man. And it's not hard to do. Trust me, you're going to save a lot of money. It's going to be a lot less stressful because holidays are stressful. I can remember doing all that shit i can remember buying gifts and doing all that crazy shit man that shit was stressful now that i think about it you're trying to save up some money you got bills and shit going on you're trying to get something for somebody then it's always it's not just a damn birthday and don't let the birthday land on the same day or a week or some shit before your christmas or a valentine or a, you know it's stressful man and a lot of people they don't even you know they just, you know, they kind of just, they they get the, the gifts out of guilt. It's not really something that they really be wanting to do. It's just that, you know, they they under, it's just that, that spirit of Esau's kingdom of just doing that silly shit. It's just silly, man. Anyway, though, I wanted to touch on that real quick. I pray that the lesson was edifying with that. Kwame Yashallah.